Hey guys, I'm Pixel Dan, and this is a review of the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 11 inch Shredder from Playmates Toys. That's right, the large scale line of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles action figures gets a Shredder to add to the ranks. So let's go ahead and take a closer look at him. As you can see, he comes on that same style open box packaging that we've seen with the other large scale Ninja Turtles figures. You'll note right there on the box, the way he's packaged, that he does include a removable mask, which is a really cool added feature for this particular figure. And then flipping that box around to the backside, we just get a look at the four turtles that are also available alongside this brand new Shredder. So let's go ahead and take a look at Shredder now that we've got him outside of the packaging. Now I really like these large scale turtles. I thought the movie ones were really well done for what they were, and I really liked the battle shell turtles that were originally released from the Nick Turtles line. So it's really cool to finally get a nice villain, their arch villain even, to be added to the ranks of these larger scale figures. Now, the one thing I noticed immediately upon removing this guy from the package, he is incredibly lightweight. The figure is made of a hollow plastic this time around, and it just feels a lot cheaper, unfortunately. The turtles were made of a very solid, very hefty plastic material. I mean, they're heavy when you pick them up. The battle shell ones, of course, are the ones I'm referring to specifically. They've got a, quite a bit of heft to them. They're very heavy. Shredder is so lightweight. Um, and in fact, you'll even notice that he's got these really bad creases running down his arms where you can tell that the plastic was fused together. Um, and he just feels just a lot lighter and, and a bit cheaper, unfortunately, than the turtles, which is a bit of a shame because it costs the same price as the turtles themselves. Now, that being said and that out of the way, the look of the figure is still very nice. He's got a great sculpt to him, and he's very similar to what we saw with the smaller, normal 5-inch scale shredder, but the sculpt isn't exactly the same, but it's very similar. So, if you've got that figure, you pretty much know what to expect with this guy here. He's got the larger blades kind of coming over the shoulders. He's got incredibly large blades sticking off of the forearms here. They're of course rounded and they're a bit of flexible. This would be a safety reason. You can't have sharp pointy claws on this guy, obviously, especially if kids are going to be playing with them. But the spikes are very nicely done on there. The colors are exactly the same as the smaller toy. So he's got a bit of a shine on the silver seen on his chest there, but most of the uh, silver on there is more of a flat kind of gray plastic that's used on all the claws. Um, spikes on his shoulders and the helmet specifically and when you flip him around to the back you'll notice he does have a lot of unpainted straps on his back uh, just like we saw with the smaller scale toy so paint job and everything is exactly what we would expect from a lot of the smaller scale turtles done on this larger size figure here now the posability is pretty decent on him uh, again it's very similar to what we saw before so the head can turn left and right on there he's got the nice ball joints at the shoulder so they can go up and down you can move the arms forwards and backwards you'll notice that the little spikes on his shoulders are also posable there um, they move up and down that way you can still move his arms up and down he doesn't have any articulation in the elbows unfortunately so his arms are always stuck in that pose but you can rotate the wrist left and right there he rotates at the waist he's got hinge joints at the thigh so legs can go outwards forwards and backwards um, you might kind of hear it kind of clicking there. It's the nice little ratchet joint, so it's good and tight, uh, which is really nice for these larger scale figures, so that way he doesn't topple over. Same with the knees. They bend forwards and backwards there, but the feet do not pose. But even with the lack of uh, posing at the elbows and the ankles, you can still get some pretty cool poses out of Shredder. You get him at some really nice little battle stances there. So one of the great features that we mentioned already when we were showing him in the package is the fact that his helmet is removable. You can pop that off there to reveal the severely scarred, bald, evil looking head of Shredder. I absolutely love that the mask is removable on this guy. It is a bit of a loose fit, so it's easy to remove and pop back on, but it's still tight enough that you don't have to worry about it being too loose or wobbly or falling off. It holds pretty well once it's on there, but it's always easy to pop it right back off if you want to. So in addition to that removable helmet, he also comes with a few weapons for accessories. First of all, he's got a nice katana sword there, just like we saw with the smaller scale figure. His left hand is the only hand molded open, so he can actually hold on to the sword. So you can put that in his hand there. Um, the blades do kind of get in the way of the different posing options, so there's not a lot of different ways you can pose them, but pretty cool that he's got the sword still. 
And in addition to that, he also comes with two throwing stars. Now again, he's only got that one hand that's open to hold anything, and it's definitely molded for the sword. So it doesn't really hold the throwing stars very well. Not a lot of great poses you can get out of them, but at least there are additional accessories thrown in there. Now you don't have anywhere to store those on him or anything like that when not in use. So if you don't want to pose your shirt or holding any of his weapons, they'll just have to get set on the shelf or thrown in your toy bin or something like that. All right, guys, it's comparison time. Here's a look at this new 11-inch shredder standing alongside the, one of the smaller 5-inch scale shredders just so you can see the size difference between the two figures. And now let's go ahead and pull up the 11-inch Raphael battle shell figure that I took a look at previously so you can see him standing alongside the shredder. One thing that's nice is that Shredder is taller than the Turtles. In fact, even though this is the 11 inch scale line, Shredder stands almost 12 inches tall. So you can see he's bigger than Raphael, which is exactly how he should be. And these guys do look really great when they're paired up with each other. So in the end, my only real criticism here is that it's a lighter figure. It's hollowed out and it just doesn't feel as nice and sturdy as the Turtles do. But the overall look itself is still very nice. It's a cool looking Shredder, and if you're just going to put this guy up on your shelf to pose him specifically, it's going to look really neat having Shredder alongside the Turtles. So, if this is something that you want to pick up, just know that that's exactly what to expect out of it. Shredder is starting to hit retail store shelves right now, so happy hunting my friends, and until next time.